In this video we are going to create a point cloud map using Leo SAM. Leo SAM stands for LiDAR Inertial Odometry via Smoothing and Mapping. Created point cloud can be used for localization while navigating. As a LiDAR we will use Velodyne. This LiDAR is expensive for a hobbyist or for a college project, but in the simulator environment we can use it for free. Firstly, let's take a look at theory. What is LiDAR odometry we are talking about? LiDAR odometry is typically performed by finding relative transformation between two consecutive LiDAR frames using scan matching methods such as ICP. ICP stands for Iterative Closest Point. It minimizes square errors between two point clouds. Let's see basic steps of how ICP algorithm works. Here we define P1 as an initial point cloud and P2 as a consecutive second point cloud. As the first step, the nearest point in P1 for every point in P2 is calculated using Euclidean distance. As the second step, if the Euclidean distance between two points is bigger than a threshold value, this pair is removed. Thirdly, weight to pairs of points is added. There are several ways to do it. For example, it is possible to set the weights in dependence to direction of normal vectors as their dot product. In the fourth step, rotation matrix R and translation vector T are calculated using the least square method. In the fifth step, transformation of P1 is calculated using previously calculated rotation matrix R and translation matrix T. In the sixth step, error computation is done until required accuracy is reached. LiDAR is not a perfect sensor, and it has its own features that we should be aware of. Since LiDAR rotates while acquiring a point cloud, the point cloud is skewed. So, using only a LiDAR for pose estimation is not ideal since registration using skewed point clouds or features will eventually cause large drift. Therefore, LiDAR is typically used in conjunction with other sensors, such as IMU and GPS, for state estimation and mapping. The conjunction is often called a sensor fusion. There are two ways for sensor fusion. The first is loosely coupled fusion. IMU is used to skew the LiDAR scan and give motion prior for scan matching. But IMU is not involved in the optimization process of the algorithm. The second is tightly coupled fusion. Tightly coupled systems usually offer improved accuracy. Measurements from both the LiDAR and IMU are used for joint optimization. Now let's see how Leo SAM works. Leo SAM estimates the state of the robot and its trajectory using the observations of LiDAR. IMU and optionally GPS sensors. This state estimation problem can be formulated as a maximum a posteriori problem. Maximum a posteriori estimation is a probabilistic framework for solving the problem of density estimation. Maximum a posteriori probability involves calculating a conditional probability of observing the data given a model weighted by prior probability or belief about the model. A factor graph is used to model this problem. One variable type and four types of factors are used for factor graph construction. Variable represents the robot's state at a specific time and is attributed to the nodes of the graph. The first factor is IMU preintegration factor. This factor is used to infer the motion of the robot using measurements from the IMU. The second factor is LiDAR odometry factor. This factor is used for feature extraction, keyframe selection and relative transformation. The third is GPS factor. The system suffers from drift during long duration navigation tasks. So, to eliminate drift, sensors such as GPS that offer absolute measurements are required. The fourth is loop closure factor. In this method, Euclidean distance-based loop closure detection approach is used. 
Now let's see what packages we need for this simulation. Please download the Leo Simgazebo RAS 2 zip file from the Google Drive and extract it to your home directory. After this, move to the source folder. Here we have five packages. In the Leo Sam RAS 2 package we have a previously explained algorithm which creates a point cloud. The robot control package allows us to control the robot using joypad. In the robot description package, we have original Zacro files of the robot from which URDF and SDF files have been created. But this package has not been used in the simulation. The robot gazebo package contains files of the robot model, gazebo world and files to launch the simulation. The Velodyne simulator package contains files for Velodyne gazebo plugin. For the Leo Sam we are using this repository. Thanks to the author for sharing this great work. This page explains how to implement Leo Sam for your robot. We especially should be careful about coordinate system of LiDAR and IMU, otherwise Leo Sam will not work properly. For the Velodyne simulator we will use this repository since it works with ROS2. Now let's see inside the Leo Sam ROS2 package. The only file we have to change here is the params yum file inside the config directory. Make sure that point cloud and IMU topic names are identical to topic names defined in the SDF file. Also change LiDAR frame name and base link name to the frame names of your robot. If you want to create a point cloud file after the simulation, change save PCD to true. Also, we have to use initially commented out extrinsic matrices. This relates to Gazebo IMU sensor coordinate system orientation. Now let's see the SDF file of the robot. Here is the part where Velodyne sensor is defined. Basically, we just have to copy the URDF file example provided with the Velodyne simulator package. But we should make sure that topic name is the identical to the one we defined in the previous params yama file of the Leo Sam package. Here, we should also make sure that topic name is the same as what we defined in the params yam file. Now let's install packages required to do the simulation. Install the Python 3 colcon common extensions. Colcon is a command line tool to improve the workflow of building, testing, and using multiple software packages. It automates the process, handles the ordering, and sets up the environment to use the packages. Install Gazebo. Next, install Gazebo ROS package. This package provides ROS plugins that offer message and service publishers for interfacing with Gazebo through ROS. Install the Gazebo ROS2 control package. This package integrates the ROS2 control controller architecture with the Gazebo simulator. Install ROS2 controllers. These are controllers for ROS2 control framework that can also be used with MoveIt2 and Navigation2. Next, install Gazebo ROS packages. Gazebo ROS packages is a set of ROS packages that provides the necessary interfaces to simulate a robot in Gazebo. It integrates with ROS using ROS messages, services and dynamic reconfigure. We also have to install GTSAM. GTSAM is a BSD licensed C library that implements sensor fusion for robotics and computer vision applications, such as SLAM, visual odometry, and structure from motion. Installation process is not difficult, just follow this instruction. 
Add apt repository is a script which adds an external apt repository to sources list file in the etc. apt directory. Install Cloud Compare. Cloud Compare is a 3D point cloud processing software. It has been originally designed to perform comparison between two dense 3D points clouds or between a point cloud and a triangular mesh. We will use it to visualize the point cloud data acquired using Leo SAM. Now we are ready to do the simulation. Download the Leo Sam Gazebo RAS 2 zip file and extract it to your home directory. Before doing the simulation, move these three files to the model folder inside the Gazebo directory. Now open the terminal and execute the Colkin build command. To start the simulation, Launch the robot sim launch pi script. Then open another terminal and execute the run launch pi script. After the map appears, Run the robot all over the place using a joypad. If you satisfied with your map, closer it is. The result will be saved in the loan folder under the downloads directory. Launch the cloud compare application and open PCD file. This is the point cloud map we created.